you know, sustainability is, is such a, a, a large and expensive topic. But if I were to sum it up in one word, I would say it's lifestyle, right? So you, you choose this lifestyle and it applies to different aspects of your life. If you're asking me as a property developer, sustainability starts from the time we buy a land, you know. Uh, is this land uh, easily accessible to uh, public transportation whereby I'm reducing uh, trips using cars? Uh, how does the sun path diagram uh, sort of relate to the site that I'm uh, acquiring? And then it moves into things like, uh, you know, how I manufacture. We, we use a lot of uh, in-house vertical integration. So we, we manufacture our own aluminium in our own factories, our own joinery. Uh, that helps us reduce wastage. It helps us uh, reduce the carbon footprint that gen is generated from uh, uh, buying uh, materials from, from outside. So uh, it, it's a very diverse topic. And then it, it goes into the details of, you know, uh, what materials am I using when I'm building? Uh, how am I managing these materials during the construction phase? Uh, and then, you know, I can give you a very specific example, the use of MDF boards and how they're recycled to cast more than one concrete slab or one concrete floor rather than buying you know a, a ton of them and then just throwing them away so we use it for multiple floors and multiple structural columns uh, that's you know a very technical example let's say uh, and then of course the technologies we're using in terms of water fixtures in terms of motion sensors in public spaces and uh, design strategies you know passive cooling how can I achieve passive cooling by simply orienting my building or my the architectural masses in a certain way where the wind enters and controls the temperature without using air conditioning. So it's, it's, there's a lot of strategies that we're adopting as developers and that, that means sustainability, but I think it, ultimately it's a lifestyle.